seven months sober. <laughs> then, then there was a girl who, you know, she lived in a great place, in a great neighborhood. And I, I really wanted to check this place out. I got there, rang the doorbell, and no one was there. And on the way back, I was thinking, how the hell did this girl know that I was going to expose myself to her? <laughs> <laughs> so, that happened. I do live with two girls now. It's working out pretty well. Actually, this is uh, this isn't my shirt. This is one of their one night stands shirts. <laughs> uh, you know, we don't have a lot of problems except for uh, sometimes I I accidentally fall asleep on the couch and it kind of scares them. And it wouldn't wouldn't really be a problem except I uh, I only sleep in the nude. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. And the answer is yes. I do shit. <laughs> one of my roommates tried to tell me one time, you know, there's, there's an epidemic in pornography going on right now because it's just available everywhere. And, you know, I, I didn't really agree with this. We went back and forth, but I couldn't really tell what she was saying because she wasn't filleting the penis at the time. <laughs> I gave my phone to a crackhead once. <laughs> And whoever she called left me a lot of voicemails for the next two months. They were all along the lines of, Josie, where the fuck are you? <laughs> but I do have an iPhone now, and I gotta say, I've never had anything in my life that's made me more excited to poop. <laughs> it's great. You know, the phones these days, they, they have such awesome names. There was, first there was the Razor, and then there was the Droid, and there was the Thunderbolt, the Incredible. I'm going to get the next one. It's called Supercock. I don't think a lot of people are going to borrow it. So I recently... I recently... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I recently had the the fortune of flying uh, the best airline in the world, Spirit Airlines. Uh, place is uh, sponsored by Cartoon Network. I mean, can you imagine that? The, the announcements at the air airport? You got Foghorn Leghorn on the PA. Uh, welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. I say, I say, I'm fine, ladies and gentlemen, D. It's wacky. Now that place just nickel and dimes the shit out of you, you know. I had to pay to check the bag. I had to pay to carry one on. I had to pay for a snack. Hell, when the airplane was going down, the oxygen mask fell down, I had to pay for one of those. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I was down to my last bison bicentennial quarter, so I couldn't help out the little kid next to me. <laughs> he died. <laughs> Now, one question for my Hasidic friends. One question. When you all go to Bed Bath & Beyond, and you make it to the linen section, do you get erect? <laughs> all right. One last thing I'll leave you with. I was, uh, I was on my way to work this morning, and I stopped in a coffee shop. And, uh, you know, there's this, there's a pleasant aroma in the morning, in the, in the air, and I couldn't tell what it was. And then I realized that as soon as I walked out, that was the smell of unemployment. 
I want more job. I haven't been having a lot of luck on the dating website, okcupid.com. You know, they ask you a lot of questions about yourself to match you up with people. And I see where one question might have led some women astray. The question was, do you smile at little children when you pass them on the street? <laughs> now, I remember back, thinking back, and I didn't want to say yes to be a creep. But I didn't want to look like a dickhead and say no. So I went with the safe choice. I went with option C, when no one else is looking. 